Welcome back to the channel, my loyal subscribers, and hello to the more than 200 of you who have subscribed from my last two videos doing so well. Two weeks ago, we did a deep dive explaining the entire David Dobrik scandal, and that video is now sitting just under a thousand views, which is amazing relative to my subscriber count. And four weeks ago, I looked into the bizarre movement known as Super Straight, and as I'm recording this video, is sitting just under 7,000 views. I can't thank you all enough for the insanely supportive comments. A lot of you are convinced that this channel is going to blow up soon, and I'm really glad you're all gonna be here to see it. Anyway, this week we're gonna have a little more fun. After two very research heavy videos about serious topics, I figured we'd lighten it up this week. Now I've been watching a lot of reality TV lately, or more accurately, I've been watching a lot of YouTubers talk about reality TV lately. Things like The Bachelor and Love Island, both of which I've never watched myself. Due to that, I never realized how absolutely bizarre these shows are. The Bachelor is a show where a bunch of women go to a house and they compete for the love of one guy, and I I don't know if this was last season or like a few seasons ago, but at the beginning of a season where The Bachelor was a virgin, one girl dressed up as a sloth when meeting him for the first time because he wanted to take things slow. And she stays in character as a sloth for the entire episode. I don't know why I thought it was like this uptight rich person show about cringy adults. It's really just a weird disorganized show about cringy adults. Honestly, it's reinvigorating my love for reality TV. When I was a kid, I used to drink tea and watch Big brother with my mom while we cross-stitched. Yeah, I've been an old lady since I was nine years old, what about it? Anyway, we can forget about it because today we're not going to be looking at a show built to bring couples together. We're watching a show built for the express purpose of embarrassing people and tearing relationships apart. Don't believe me? Listen to what the host has to say about the episode we're watching today. Welcome to a special Monday night edition of the Moment of Truth. This episode was so controversial it sparked a long debate as to whether or not to air it at all. Quite honestly, if I had my vote, it would not air. It is the most uncomfortable I've ever been on television, asking these questions and listening to the answers that were given. But in the end, it was decided that this episode should air. I will tell you, however, that the truth is often not pretty. So here it is. This is the moment of truth. Now, I haven't seen this episode yet, but this should give you some idea of what we're getting into. And if that's not convincing enough, this is Mark L. Wahlberg. He also hosted a show called Temptation Island about five years prior. If you haven't heard of it, it's literally just a show where they take couples that are prone to cheating and then split them up on an island with a bunch of really horny single people. Then Mark plays clips of the couples cheating on each other in front of their significant other. So Mark is not a stranger at all to ruining relationships and making people feel uncomfortable on national TV, which makes it so much better that he gave this disclaimer. I've watched other episodes of this show, but not this one because I wanted to react to it live. Live for me, not for you. Anyway, in this show, contestants are asked 50 or so questions while hooked up to a lie detector test. Then, without being shown what results they got, 21 of those questions are selected to be asked of them while they're on national TV in order to win a lot of money. If they lie based on the results of their polygraph test, then they lose the show and all the money they potentially could have won, including the studio and TV audiences family and friends are also invited to watch them answer these highly personal questions. They're even given the option to press a button that swaps out the question if it's too dark for them to handle, but they can only use it one time. A question in another episode was something like, have you ever forced yourself to puke after eating in order to maintain your weight as a model? And the sister stepped forward to press the button because that shit does not need to be answered on TV. So yeah, this show gets really dark, and that's probably why it only has two seasons. So do me a favor and drop a like on this video because marriages were ended in order to make it. It's the least you could do. All right, let's get started. Lauren, as you know, there are six levels of questioning. The further you go, the harder the question you get, and the more money you can win. You can quit at any time, Lauren. Take the money, but once you hear a question, you have to answer that question. So, so far, I actually haven't seen anyone get to the 300 grand point. So far, everyone is either out before then or they leave with 200 grand. This one, supposedly, she goes right to the finals. I'm Frank, Lauren's husband. Hello, Frank. I'm Jay, uh, Lauren's father. I'm Kim, Lauren's mother. Hi, I'm Monica, Lauren's sister. And I'm Tim, Lauren's brother. Lauren, are you ready? I'm ready. I am too, let's begin. Okay, Lauren, we start with level one, and it has six questions. All you have to do is answer all six truthfully. You win $10,000, and that's a good start, isn't it? Got it. Yeah. Question one. As an employee of a hair salon, have you ever told a customer you liked their hairstyle when, in fact, 
You did. They always start with like some of the easiest well, questions. Like that's not even hard. No, I have never. That answer is true. Wow. I mean, props to her for being honest. I would lie all the fucking time. Question two. Have you ever flashed a stranger just for laughs? <laughs> Frank. You think she's ever flashed a stranger? You know her. <laughs> I've flashed strangers, so I'm sure she's flashed. <laughs> so, I think, uh, yeah, I think she That has. wouldn't surprise you, huh? Not at all. Have you ever flashed a stranger just for laughs? I'm going to have to say yes, Mark. Mm -hmm. I have. <laughs> they have to, like, fill out, like, some sort of background check, I'm assuming, before they do the polygraph test, because the questions are already, like, directed at them, and these are taken from the 50 questions from the polygraph test. So, in order to get interesting contestants, I mean, like, they had to, right? Question three. Would you give food to a stray dog before you would give it to a homeless person? There are statistics that support this. That's not even a hard question. Well, I would have to say I'd rather give food to a dog rather than a person. People are groaning, so but that is the be? obvious answer. There are actual yes. statistics yeah. that people care That's more about dogs than people. Is. Come on. True. They just look at you with the cute puppy faces, they and then you have somebody who's got a really nasty, dirty face. It's like, oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't say that. I don't feel better now that you've cleared it up there, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Question four. Have you ever derived pleasure when one of your siblings has gotten into trouble? Of course, yeah. I, my brother's getting in trouble. That's hilarious to me, especially if it was my fault. Yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> um, Yes, I have. That answer is I that. true. As we've already seen, the questions can have things to do with you. You do have a little bit of control. You see that button in front of you there. They always do three questions before he actually warns them that they can cancel them. I don't know if you can press the button for the first three questions, but I mean, why would you? They're the easiest ones. Just Two more questions, you get $10,000, Lauren. So far, the questions have been fun, but not too hard. Oh, actually, they did the fourth question. You say you're a trustworthy time. person? I think so. Yeah? Question five. Have you ever been fired from a job for stealing money? Well, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I've come to terms with the accepting this. So, uh, yes, I have gotten fired from a job. That answer is true. Okay. She said that so shamefully. Like, this must have been a big deal, not just like 20 bucks out of the register or something, you know? She reminds me of one of my old co workers who got fired for stealing money. Your husband is a police officer. So, what do you think about this, Frank? Well, I, I arrested her, and so by me arresting her is me marrying her. So, I am, <laughs> she's in my prison. You are quite the romantic, Frank. No, I know this sound like it. Yeah. <laughs> Lauren Cleary, this is your $10,000 moment of truth. Question six. If you knew you wouldn't get caught, would you steal money from your place of employment? Ooh, okay, so we already knew she stole. I think it's a yes. It's gotta be a yes. Oh my goodness. I am going to have to say, no, I would not. Bullshit. Bullshit. That answer is... Something we'll find out right after this break. We'll find oh, out Mark, you're such a cop right They do this a lot. They'll, like, hype it as if she's going to answer and then right to commercial break. I asked you if you knew you wouldn't get caught, would you steal money from your place of employment? Your answer was... No, no you would not. Before we find out if that's a lie or if it's the truth, Frank, you believe? Uh, I do. I, I do not think she would again. Definitely not. Must have been a Let's big fucking issue that she went through. I mean, like, she that must have got caught for, is. like, stealing thousands of dollars. True. I mean, we knew it was going to be true because we know she gets to the finals. You won, yeah. honestly yeah. and legally, 10 Way to rub it in, Mark. Honestly and legally made $10,000. To get to the top of level two, you'll win $25,000. You have to answer five questions to get there. Question seven. 
Since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep in order to avoid having sex with your husband, Frank? <laughs> what do you think the answer is? Yes. Answer. We'll see. So, all right. It's got to be a yes, right? I mean, you're not always in the mood. Pretended to be asleep, pretended to have a headache, so yes. <laughs> that answer is... Poor guy. Poor guy. True. National TV and the wife just... Oh, look at his face. No. Seven truthful answers. You have a lot of friends? Um, used to. Not so much anymore. You used to have a lot of friends. Question she eight. sounds like a shit person, to be Do honest. Do you blame your husband for your lack of close friends? Man, they are going hard on the husband here. Yes, I do. That answer is true. Dude, I feel bad for this guy. I feel Three worse for him than I do for her. Would you say your family is very supportive of you? He always I asks so. questions right before he asks the real question that are related question nine. to it. Would you ever be a surrogate mother for your sister if she were unable oh, to have children? Oh, no. Um, yes, I would be. Oh, okay. That I was not expecting is. that. True. Wow. Come on, bring it up. Come on, we need some more heavy hitting questions here. There's some disgusting invasions of privacy on this show. I want to see some. Question 10. Do you think your parents are proud of you? It's going to be a no. This is one of those questions that looks easy. Yeah. But you and I both know how hard that can be. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is a tough one. <laughs> Oh. Don't answer yet. We'll be right back. Right after. Mark, you cock teams. Ultimate fucking cock teams. Before the break, I asked you this question. Do you think your parents are proud of you? Mom and Dad, are you proud of her? We've had this discussion. Oh. Do you think your parents are proud of you? Yes or no? No, I don't think my parents are proud of me. I don't think the parents think they're that proud of her either. Answer is true. Okay, here's where we are. You've answered 10 questions truthfully. If you can answer question 11 truthfully, you've won $25,000 and the right to keep going all the way up to half a million dollars. Are we going to stop now or do you want this question Go, 11? Lauren, you're doing great. I want the question. Go. This one's always a heavy hitter. The $25,000 question is always good. Come on. Question 11. Do you know things about your father that you keep secret from your mother? What the fuck? They're not just gonna break up their marriage, they're gonna break up the parents' marriage. Yes, I do. That answer is... True. Yeah. Yo, the mother looks pissed. We will talk about what you do next in our game, but I'm interested to know why you ran out of your seat and hugged her. Is it that she won the money or that she's keeping the secret? <laughs> <laughs> I'm already in trouble. I don't know. Both. I don't know. A little bit of both. We'll huh? talk later. I didn't think he was gonna come over here and hug me. <laughs> well, I get the feeling that this is something you guys are gonna discuss without us. Yeah, because you built this show to fucking ruin I families. Think so. <laughs> yeah, I think so. This show gives me so much anxiety watching it. It's so messed up. I wonder how the selection process for the show goes. Like, do you like write a letter just being like, yeah, so I've cheated on my husband, my father's cheated on my mom, uh, our family is completely dysfunctional, and I think we would have a lot of great content to go on your show. Because, like, so far, the only contestants I've seen on this show are just the worst of the worst people. Gambling addicts, cheaters, like, it's, it's insane. And I fucking love this show. I love it so much. All right, now we're going to get to the juicy bits. Mark just gave a second warning. Well, to be honest, I am really not concerned about the money. I just I feel a lot better getting this, everything I need 
to get off my chest. So. Oh, you're not here for the money, are you? You're here to admit secrets to your family? Well, I mean, if you're going to ruin your life, you might as well do it for tens of thousands of dollars. Smart girl. How's the communication between you and your husband, Frank? Uh, we're working on it. We're working on it. Question 12. Do you secretly stay in touch with any boyfriends that your husband does not know about? What do you think, Frank? I think I want to hear her answer. Uh, the answer is no. Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting that. That answer is true. That one scared me. Really? Yeah. Scare you, Frank? <laughs> A little bit. I got, I got confidence in her, though. You so have confidence. I trust her. Yeah. Got confidence, do you? You have got confidence. $5,000. I don't. Nope. Three questions away. Your wife sucks, dude. <laughs> I got bad vibes from her. Do you occasionally like the girls' night out? Yeah. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. It's important to have those nights, it right? Is. Question 13. Have you ever taken off your wedding ring to appear as if you were single? Ooh. This one's gonna be a yes. She's gonna say yes. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> right in the ticker. Right there. I tried to warn you. No, it's okay. Um, yes, I have. Oh, man. That answer is true. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean she's cheated. I mean, the insinuation is that she cheated, but. But that is a truthful answer that um, I can't even spin to be a good answer. Frank? How do you feel about that? Maybe I'm sure she has her reasons. I'll find out later. I don't know if I have the stomach for the rest of these questions. <laughs> Stop me before I ask the question if you don't want to answer it. So uh, I'll just ask you this before we get into the question. Did you and your husband have a nice honeymoon? <laughs> oh, no. He's always asking something that relates right? to the question. Yeah, this is going to be Enjoy bad. Yourself. Question 14. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Ah, oh, commercial burn! God damn it. <laughs> Ooh, the mom looks pissed, dude. She knows. Yes, I believe I was. That answer is... Oh. True. That sucks. That really, really sucks. I told you, the show was built to destroy relationships, and they do not hold back at all. Frank, were you aware that she had those feelings on your wedding day? Uh, no. I knew that she did have feelings for, you know, ex boyfriends and everybody does. I didn't know that she might have been in love with them. Oh, Mark looks uncomfortable. <laughs> I can't talk you into stopping, Jenna. No, I'm ready for number 15. Burger King foot lettuce. I, um, I don't think you really are ready for number 15, but if you want it, I'm going to give it to you. Okay? You're making this worse than it is. <laughs> I don't think I can oh, make this shit. worse than it is. This is your $100,000 moment of truth. And this question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise guest. Oh, my God. Lauren? Can you tell everybody who this is? Or do I need to do it? This is your ex-boyfriend. Oh my god. They just asked her if she was still in love with him on her wedding night. And they're bringing out her ex-boyfriend. Frank has a question for you. And I hope this $100,000, if you win it, is worth this question. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? Oh no. She's going to say yeah. She's actually going to say yeah, this is it. I wonder if the husband's gonna storm off set. That'd be funny. And commercial break. Of course. As the boyfriend, like, this is borderline sadistic to go on the show to ask this question, man. That's so messed up. When you're ready, question 15. All right, here it is. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? It's gotta be a yes. It's gotta be. Hold on. That question is a devastating question. 
You could avoid this right now by hitting the button, Frank. No, he wants to hear it. He wants no? to hear it. No! No! <laughs> Fuck you! Uh, sister saves the day. That's gonna eat at the husband for the rest of his life. Frank wanted to hear the answer to this question. Monica, why did you hit the button? I don't want to hear that answer. I don't think anyone will want to hear that answer. I have, I have a question to replace that with. Before I do that, my question to you, Lauren, is did she just save you or cost you $100,000? Sure, I don't know. <laughs> I've given Frank an alternate question. It replaces the one that Monica stopped. If you are truthful, it'll be worth $100,000. And I hope, Lauren, that that is a, a gamble that's worth it for you. Once again, question 15. Do you believe I'm the man you should be married to? That's just as bad. That's like basically the same question. Well, <laughs> wow. Well, um, um, I want to be honest and say yes. Oh. Oh, no. That answer is true. That little fucking smile. That's horrible. If she and Frank actually get back together, that's gonna be the most toxic relationship in the history of the world. Have you guys talked about this ex-boyfriend at all? Yeah, earlier on in our marriage, but I mean, I didn't know he was still an issue. I mean, with an answer like that, I can only uh, assume that you're, you're not happy. Are you unhappy? Sometimes. <laughs> What else is there? You know They're I mean? gonna straight up ask if she it's wants broken. to get a divorce. That's gotta be this one of the questions. This is bigger than the game right now. I'm calling it. I would tell her to go. What else is there to tell me? What else, what else is there to really tell me? But, yeah, but Frank makes a very good point. After this bomb that's been dropped, <laughs> what else is there? You know, I don't. You know the questions. What else is there? They're either straight up gonna ask if she wants a divorce, or it's gonna be like, have you had sex with another man, or... <laughs> the mom's like, stop. The dad's like, go for it. I, I'm gonna keep on going. Because, because you've already put yourself out to the world as a horrible person and can't repeat that. I will let you know that the questions I've already asked you, a couple of them, are way over my line. This one's further than that. Question 16. Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? I called it. And it's a yes. It's, it's gonna be a yes. The fact that she's smirking is just horrendous. I'm gonna have to say yes. Dude, this guy... That answer I is... don't even know what to say, man. This guy is just... His True. life is being ruined by her. Okay, Lord. On TV. Are you feeling like you should go for it now? Yeah. What more could there be? You've literally ruined her marriage. She's clearly committed. Question 17. Do you think you're a good person? Honestly, I think I am. No, a good you person. are not. You're not. So your no. answer is? No, you no. No. That answer is. It's not true, Dad. It's not. She loses. Right here. This is where she loses. False. Yeah. Good. You don't deserve to win. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Ruin your marriage. And you don't even get the money. Lauren, I am so, so sorry. Why do you think this came up as a lie for you when I asked you if you think you're a good person? Because even after everything that I have done, stealing the money and everything, I think that I've become a better person. That's why I think I am a good person. Yet it came up as a lie, which means that somewhere in you, you haven't forgiven yourself. And you, somewhere, your truth is that you don't think you're a good person at all. Why don't you go out and hang out with your family? And I thank you very much, Lauren, for being on the And that's it. I wish you the best. Holy fuck. The husband's even comforting her. He's so nice. I honestly believe that some truths are better left unsaid. Hopefully, Lauren and her family can make peace with what happened here tonight. I... I wish them all the very best. See you next time.
That was so much worse than I could have expected. Um, I totally was wrong. I thought this was the episode where she gets to the finals, but I guess not. That's so horrendous. She was perfectly ready to ruin her relationship with her husband and her family and run off with her ex-boyfriend on national TV. And then she didn't even get the money. That was like the whole reason she was doing it. I, d I don't know what to tell you guys. This is honestly one of the most horrendous shows that has ever been on TV. I swear to God. I've seen a few other episodes and some of those questions hit pretty hard as well, but I feel like they just didn't hold back on this girl. Like, one guy reached $200,000 and he was like the most wholesome dude ever. Like, dude couldn't hurt a fly. But she's a terrible person. She had so much to give. The only good answer she had on the entire show was saying she would be a surrogate for her sister. That's messed up. Oh my god. I really want to know what happened after this show. I'm assuming their marriage is over and I'm assuming she tried to run off with her ex-boyfriend, but something tells me that he was just trying to be a douchebag by going on the show. Like, he was just trying to really rub it in that you can't ever get over me. I don't know. Maybe I'm a cynic, but uh, I've been watching a lot of this show, so it's made me cynical. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this week. I'm um, sorry if it's a little rough. I'm still trying to get used to the more reaction style content. Up until this point, I've pretty much written a script for the majority of my videos, but I'm trying to make this more of a uh, natural process process for me, so I want to experiment more with the uh, reaction style content, so I'm hoping that you like it. Anyway, drop a like below if you enjoyed, or if you didn't enjoy, because I don't know if I enjoyed this. I don't know how to feel about it, so I kind of got to get all those likes in there. No dislikes allowed, okay? Also, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. That number gives me dopamine like you would never believe, and I think that's about it for this week. Let me know in the comments what I should do next time. I'm not sure if I'm going to go back to weeklies or keep with the bi-weekly stuff because I'm back to work now. So the bi-weeklies have kind of been working for me. Particularly if I do more research-based content, that extra week definitely helps me get everything sorted to the quality that I want for this channel. I'm down for a research-based topic or something more fun like we did this week, so any ideas are welcome. And with that, I guess I'll see you next time. Stay sexy, you heinous mother...